What is up guys? My name is Jerry and today we're going to be looking at the Schecter C7 SLS Elite. The wonderful folks over at Schecter have made a workhorse of a guitar. The C7 SLS Elite was crafted with a modern metal guitarist in mind. This guitar has a swamp ash body with a flame maple arch top and this beautiful antique fade burst finish. It has ivory binding, a hip shot hardtail bridge, master volume and master tone controls, and a three-way blade switch. If we take a look at the neck, you'll see that it has an ebony fretboard with abalone offset inlays, 24 extra jumbo frets, a 12 to 16 inch compound radius, and a 26 and a half inch scale length. This also has an Ernie Ball Compensated Nut, which is a special type of guitar nut that has a different break point at each individual string. This allows for consistent intonation all across the fretboard. If we flip the guitar over, we can see this beautiful neck through design, which allows for ultra access to the upper frets. This neck is made up of maple, walnut, and paduk, with carbon fiber reinforcement rods making this neck super stable. There's the battery compartment for the pickups. It has an ultra thin C profile, and to finish it off, it comes with a set of Schecter locking tuners. Another thing that makes this guitar really great are the Fishman Fluence modern humbuckers that it comes with. If you guys aren't familiar with the Fluence pickups, they utilize a totally different type of technology from traditional pickups, using actual circuit boards inside of them, allowing you to have 100% consistency with every set of pickups manufactured, immense clarity, and, their biggest selling point, switch between two sets of voicings. The moderns, for example, that come with this SLS Elite can switch between an active sound and a passive sound, 
If you pull up on this knob, it'll change the voicing of this Alnico neck pickup. If you pull up on this knob, it'll change the voicing of the ceramic bridge pickup. In the down position is voice one, which is the active voicing. In the up position is voice two, the passive voicing. In the track you just heard, I used voice one for all of it and was just switching between the different pickup positions for the different sections. But let's take a listen to the other voicings so you can get an idea of how many sounds you can get out of this guitar using some distorted tones and some clean tones. Hats off to Schechter for making just an absolutely incredible instrument. I am totally in love with it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys like what you heard, I actually just officially put out some of my own music a couple of months ago, and I'd really love it if you checked it out. Uh, you can do so by clicking here. There will be a link at the end of this video and also in the description below. I also have my music out on all major streaming platforms like Spotify, Apple Music, and Google Play. And for more guitar videos like this one, you can head over to my channel hit subscribe, and I will see you next time.